Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, we'll look at how to create a distribution list for Outlook on the web. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Microsoft and I'm in my Outlook inbox on the web. Creating a distribution list in Outlook is quick to do, but can be a little tricky if you've not done it before. In this guide, I'll explain how you can do that in five simple steps. I know that sounds like a lot, but each step is super simple and we'll be done in less than four minutes. We'll start by opening the contacts area of Outlook. I can do this by moving to the navigation pane on the far left of the inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here, but the one we're interested in is the small people icon. I'll click on this once to choose it. The contacts section is then presented. This holds all your existing contacts and allows you to manage your groups and contact lists in Outlook. We're now going to set up our distribution list. And to do that, I need to move my mouse pointer to the new contact button at the top of the inbox. I don't want to create a new contact, however. I want to create a new group of contacts. So to do that, I'll move to the drop down arrow on the right of that button. If I click on that, some further options are presented. In Outlook, distribution lists are called contact lists. Confusingly, this drop down also offers you the option to create a new group. Groups are totally different to distribution lists. They allow you to create working spaces for team collaboration, but we're going to ignore those for this guide. And I'll choose the new contact list option to open that feature. A pop-up window then appears that asks you to provide your contact list details. We'll start by giving it a name. You'll then need to add the email addresses to this contact list. If I click on that box, you'll see that Outlook suggests a number of my existing regular contacts. You can just click on any one of those to select them and add them to the distribution list. You can, of course, also add any email addresses simply by typing them out in the box shown. Click on the large blue Add button to add them to your contact list. Don't worry if you don't know all the email addresses you want to add to your list. You can easily add them later, once the contact list has been created. Finally, you can also add an optional description for your distribution list. This will only be seen by you and can be left blank if you prefer. To finally create your distribution list, all you now need to do is click on the large blue create button at the bottom of that window. Outlook then takes you to the contact list section and displays the details of the distribution list you've created. All of the email addresses you've added are shown. I'll now return to my Outlook inbox to test the distribution list. I'll open a new email. I can quickly send an email to the distribution list simply by typing the name I just gave to my contact list. You'll see that Outlook suggests that name and I'll click on it once to select it. Once the contact list has been added, I can then confirm that all the email addresses I've entered have been correctly added by clicking on the small plus sign on the left of that contact list name. All the members of the contact list are then displayed and this email can then be edited and updated in the usual way. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.